Hi flower friends, it's Nicole from Flower Hill Farm and I am out here on this beautiful foggy morning because I have to grab some sunflowers and a few other things I need to harvest because I have a lot of stuff to do today. And I've actually, well, I've been keeping a secret and it's been extremely difficult not to scream it from the top of the mountain, but I think it's finally time to share the plans that I have for Flower Hill Farm. So as most of you guys know, I live in a very small town and um, I have a lot of hometown pride and I try to do as much as I can for my community. It was late winter when I was driving past a property and it got me thinking. And I thought to myself, if this property ever goes up for sale again, I want to buy it. And less than two weeks later, I learned that in fact, the current owners were interested in selling. And I am so excited to share with you guys that I bought my local nursery. It's been in my town for more than 60 years and it just needs some love and attention and I'm ready to give it that. So we just closed on the property yesterday and um, I'll tell you guys the whole backstory and how this happened um, and share all this stuff with you. There is so much involved with this purchase and uh, things have been going on behind the scenes that I've been dying to share with you guys. And we have so much going on here at my house in preparation for the nursery. And I'll share all of those details with you guys. But first, I wanted to talk about um, why I felt compelled to do this. And there are so many reasons. Okay, so I got my coffee because, oh, I just spilled my coffee. <laughs> what a mess. Okay, I did get my coffee because it's story time. Okay, let's start from the beginning. Back on March 13th, these are actual dates, guys. This is all when this all happened. Back on March 13th, 2022, I was driving past the local nursery, which is in a fantastic location. It's right on the way to the high school and right next to the county fairgrounds where a lot of activities take place. And if I'm being honest, the nursery itself it's in desperate need of repair. So it's functioning, but the wood on the outside, it's, it's you know, needs, it, 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 a fresh coat of paint will not do the job. It needs to be resurfaced, painted, and made to be beautiful again. And there are a lot of issues inside too. There are very unlevel surfaces. So there are a lot of renovations to come. There are four heated greenhouse spaces, a retail space, a barn, and it actually comes with a house. So I'm a landlord now, but it's set on the most beautiful acre and a half property right in the middle of the village. And I'm so excited about it. But driving by it, um, I knew that it is this little diamond in the rough that just needs some love and attention. So that day, immediately after driving by, I took some photos. The snow is halfway up, you know, cause we get a heavy snow load here and the snow is halfway up the sides. You can see the wood on the outside is rotting. And I texted my sister and I told her it's currently the name of the business was Mill Creek Nursery. So I texted her and I said, if Mill Creek Nursery ever goes up for sale again, I think I want to buy it. And this is just a shot in the dark. And I know it had just sold five years ago, so I didn't think it was going to be up for sale anytime soon. But how many things have you learned sitting in the salon in your hairdresser's chair? <laughs> True story. So less than two weeks later, I think it was 13 days later, I was getting my hair done by Tommy. And I said to him, because there was no activity at Mill Creek and it's March. And if you're, if you're growing things for sale in Mother's Day, for, you know, for, for May sales and stuff, you should have the power on, you should be growing plants. Things should be, you know, getting prepared for spring sales. And the lights were off. There was no plants inside. So I said to him, I said, do you know if they're opening up Mill Creek this year, Tommy? And Tommy's like, you know, I don't know. I think they are. And then I kind of whispered to him and said, I want to buy it. And he's like, actually, Nicole, I think they're ready to sell. And I was like, what? And the owner is someone I know. Um, he was the former mayor of the village. And being my news background, I know local politics very well. So I got my phone out and I sent him a message on Facebook. And I said, hey, Dave, if you're interested in selling the nursery, um, I'm interested in buying the nursery. I kid you not, three hours later, we were walking through there and the next day, we had an agreement. What the current property does is they do the things that every local nursery does. They have hanging baskets, they have bedding plants, they have annuals, they have proven winners, they have vegetable seedlings, stuff like that. What they don't really do right now, which I would like to start doing, is they don't have shrubs, they don't have very many perennials and they don't really do trees or anything like that. Um, I would like to start doing those things, but I have a lot of big ideas for this place and I wanna bring you guys with me the whole way. But what does that mean 
for Flower Hill Farm. Nothing's gonna change here, guys. I'm still gonna be doing my flower farm and I'll tell you why. Here are the reasons that I wanted to purchase this nursery. Number one, I wanted to make it something that my hometown is gonna be proud of. Number two, I wanted a retail location for my flowers. I needed a storefront because if I'm being 100% honest, my privacy here at my house it's being compromised. People are coming here all hours of every day of the week thinking that I'm open and that it's a, a free for all, but it's just not. We wanna keep our home private. And I understand the, the, you know, why it's compelling to wanna to come here, but we're not a public space. This is our private home. But we wanted to um, create a public space and having the nursery away from our private home is going to allow people to come and to buy the flowers and to interact with me at the store and things like that because it's honestly the security and the privacy of our private home has been compromised a few times. We installed cameras all over the place but we wanted to really separate our private life from the publicness of it and that was a huge deal for me. And my husband, you know, we have kids here. We're raising a family here. Um, it's not a public property for people to come up and um, just meander around. So I wanted to make that clear. We are private here at the farm and the nursery is the public space. So that's gonna be very exciting moving forward because then people, whenever they're interested in getting flowers, they're not gonna be pulling up my driveway. They can come during the open hours of the nursery and purchase flowers then. That was a huge deal for me. Um, and number three, I really wanted, I, I just love growing growing things. And my seedling sale that I do in the spring, that's one of my favorite times of the year. That's one of my favorite things to do because I want to encourage other people, just like I encourage you guys, to grow your own, not only flowers, but vegetables. And that's a huge part of the nursery sale is uh, the nursery is to grow those plants for landscaping and for vegetable gardens. And I like to share my knowledge with people. And that's part of the thing at the nursery. That's what I'm going to do. It also allows me to expand my offerings and expand the time of the year that I'm in business. Because at the nursery, I can do things for fall and for holidays. And I have big plans for this place. I cannot wait to share it with you guys. But sharing and, and encouraging others to grow, that's a big part of the nursery. And also, um, I know you guys think that I'm like maybe in my early 30s, but um, I'm not and I'm getting older and um, the wear and tear on my body is getting real and I, I hope you guys, I, I want you guys to be aware of that. I think I'm pretty honest about that. Um, the physical demanding nature of flower farming it's just that, it's physical and it's demanding and I don't know how many years I can do this left, right? Okay, hands and knees, hips and bones, everything hurts. <laughs> You're constantly you know, digging and, and obviously we've purchased some tractors and some elements to make our lives easier here on the farm. But eventually there's gonna come a point to where I'm not gonna be able to do this anymore, at, at least at the level that I'm doing it right now. That said, the nursery, I think of it as basically my retirement plan. When I feel that I can no longer farm anymore, I can transition eventually. It's not happening anytime soon. I can transition to doing just hanging baskets and vegetable bedding plants and stuff like that. And that's looking way into the future, but guys, that's something I've never done before. I don't have any retirement. I don't have anything like that. So I'm trying to think this is basically something that I was thinking ahead to my future and the future of my family and that was important to me. But I have to tell you, I, I've been saving money. I've been saving money for this renovation because it needs a lot of work. It needs, I need to put a lot of money into this place. Um, but the closing costs were, whew, I'm gonna cry about it. They were thousands of dollars more. <laughs> They were uh, a lot more. So my renovation fund, um, <laughs> it's shrunk a little bit because um, you know uh, everything costs money and I have a lot of friends and family members wanting to help out. And I have a few, oh my God, I'm gonna cry about it again. A few wonderful members of the community that are like, I'll, I'll donate, you know, I'll give you 20 bucks towards this. And, and they're just being so awesome um, because it does need a lot of work. Um, but what I feel right now, I feel like I have an entire village behind me. Oh my God. Because this news has been um, locally, everyone knows. Everyone knows that I purchased the nursery and everyone is so excited. 
um, they're so excited because they're, they know that I'm going to turn it into something nice. And, um, everyone's coming up to me at the farmer's market and just saying, we're so happy. We can't wait to see what you do. Um, that's a lot of pressure on me, but it's also, um, uh, really good to hear that I have the support of my community because that's all I want. That's all I need. That's all that's going to drive me to make this place beautiful and have a retail location for Flower Hill Farm bouquets, not just at the market. Because guys, I don't know if you noticed, I'm selling enough flowers. I got tears dropping. I mean, I'm growing enough flowers to sell every day of the week. Um, so that's my plan. And guys, I have zucchini out the wazoo out the wazoo and I wanted to have you know a retail space I want to sell my aunt's work there I want to sell my daughter's artwork there I want to obviously like Flower Hill Farm stuff I'll have there and my vegetables I can have a cute little setup for my zucchini and squash and I want it to be a place where fe people feel comfortable and people feel cozy coming and I want it to be a safe space because one of the things that I've been hearing from customers of the former customers of the former nursery um it's they weren't they didn't feel comfortable bringing their children there because of the unsteady surfaces and um, they're not level and there's pipes everywhere and there's rusted pipes and that's all got to go and um, we're going to be putting so much work into this nursery it's kind of crazy anyway this is like a dream come true um, for me and um, I will take you guys on a full tour of the nursery because I want you guys to see the before and after on this um, you know fingers crossed if things um, go to plan I have a right now plan and I have a five-year plan and they're totally different but the right now plan is um, you know upgrade the face of it put a new sign up everything needs paint the floors need to be leveled there there's a right now plan to make it for I'm gonna have a grand opening in the spring sunflower Steve said he's coming to the grand opening we'll see <laughs> But I want to do a grand opening in the spring. I will be doing some sales there right now and in the fall, but it's going to basically be closed while we renovate and um, a huge grand opening in the spring. And, and that's about it, guys. This is my, um, so I'm not, I'm not leaving the flower farm life. I am just, in addition, taking on um, this nursery. And I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not doing this alone. I have employees. My mother-in-law is a year and a half, two years away from retirement. She is 100% wants to full-time work at the nursery. She's already, actually, she told me that I'm making her um, <laughs> dream come true because that's all she ever wanted was to retire and work at a local nursery. And I said, well, I did this for you, Penny. <laughs> anyway, so I have, I have um, cousins who, uh, basically everyone at the market comes up to me and says, if you're looking for any help, if you're looking for any help, Everyone wants to work there. So I have no shortage of people to help. And I also have um, relatives who are construction and contractors. And my dad's an electrician. So we're going to go do the whole walkthrough, make sure everything is safe. And, and it's going to be um, it's going to be an adventure. And I'm so happy you guys are along for the ride because um, this is it motivates me. Sharing the progress motivates me. It really, truly does. So anyway, that is the secret that I've been keeping since March 13th. I mean, March 13th, it was it was a, a dream. And then, wow, today is what? July 26th. So exactly okay, March to April. May, June, July. So exactly four months I have been dying to tell you guys because um, there's just, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. And I know you guys hear me say that I'm excited about a lot, but um, this is really special to me and I'm hoping that it's gonna be the legacy that I want Flower Hill Farm to leave behind. So anyway, anyway. <laughs> And that's my story. And I hope my microphone's working because I don't think I can do this again. <laughs> I didn't check to see if my microphone died. Okay, so next up, I'm gonna go to the nursery today. I'm gonna bring my camera. It's gonna be a different video though. And we're gonna do a tour and hopefully I'll be able to post that for you guys later this week. But I'm also speaking at my county fair. So I'm, I'm really busy this week. I hope you guys are as excited as I am about this. And I think it'll give me more opportunity um, to share more with you guys along the way. I've got two bouquet making videos in the can. I gotta finish editing them and I gotta post them for you guys coming up soon. So more flowers to come, I promise. <laughs> Thanks for sticking around guys. We'll see you soon.